This video is sponsored by Keeps. Let me just start by saying I'm I'm not quitting Pokemon Go. Seven day streak. Of course this is great, great timing for the helicopter. I'm not quitting Pokemon Go, but I think I've probably said this in like every video for the last two months. I've been thinking about my future with the game a lot lately. Um, obviously I haven't uploaded very much this month, um, and I, I just, I really just haven't been all that excited about anything that's going on in the game. Um, and the more I think about it, uh, the more I, I realize I just don't know what it's going to take to get me excited um, about the game. None of the new updates or, or Pokemon releases or events or anything have really done it for me. And, uh, and I was thinking about it, and the last time that I was really excited was when there was no wind <laughs> in my face. Um, the last time that I was really like excited to go out and play the game every day and film videos every day was when level 50 dropped, when the level cap increased. Um, that really got me motivated for a while, and it gave me something that I could work towards, it gave me something that I was enjoying in the game. And then, you know, it kind of tapered off as I got to level 48, or as I got to 47, and I had to walk 25 kilometers eight weeks in a row. And as soon as I reached that artificial time gate, I just kind of lost interest in it. Um, not being able to just like work through it and having to just sit there and wait. You know, I mean, walk obviously, but then wait. Uh, it just it just kind of kind of killed that whole grind for me. But as as part of my thinking, you know, I was also ooh, I wonder if this is a dwell nest. Maybe try to get a shiny. Um, I was thinking like, if I really do stop playing Pokemon Go, it would be such a shame that that I didn't reach level fifty. This game that I've spent five years of my life playing that I've really dedicated the last five years of my life to it, I couldn't stop without reaching this new level cap so that's the title before I quit Pokemon Go I want to reach level 50 and again I'm not saying that like I'm gonna reach level 50 and then quit I just the last time I got excited about the game was when I was grinding for levels and if Niantic's not going to do something with the game that gets me excited, I'm going to set a goal for myself, reach level 50, and maybe that'll do it. Here's where I'm at right now. This video is kind of just a, a check-in, a start. Um, 17 million out of 25 million XP. So I need a little under 8 million XP for this level to get level 49. I still need 48 more lucky Pokemon. I obviously have not been sending gifts, but that one's pretty easy to do. And then 35 platinum medals. So, I have some goals ahead of me. Um, obviously, for lucky trades, that, that's something I need to do. So, let's, let's list out the goals. Number one, 8 million XP, a little less than 8 million, 7.3 million XP. 
um, 48 lucky Pokemon. And for that, I'm gonna have to probably uh, just try to do 100 trades a day. Pokemon Master Holly's nearby. We can meet up and do that and hopefully get the lucky Pokemon done in maybe a week or so. Send 500 gifts to friends. I need to do another 224. I can do that, I promise. If you're on my friends list, get ready to receive gifts from me and earn 35 platinum medals. I need four more platinum medals. So I'm gonna look at my medals right now and see what I'm closest on. Uh, well, Kecleon. Kecleon would do it for me there. Uh, defend gyms for another 3,000. I don't know about that one. Pilot. Okay, this one I'll definitely get done just doing those trades with Holly or Tom or whoever I end up trading with. So there's one. Pilot. We can do that pretty easily. Um, 2,500. What do I need? Another 600 Pokemon? I'll probably get that done too, trying to get the lucky trade. So there's two two that we can do 150 different species of Pokemon in raids I only need another 16 that might be doable depends on what Pokemon come out in raids seven day streak 100 times so that's gonna be five weeks minimum to do that one man what else am I really close on I, I don't know about gym hours oh I could do ultra league battles it really looks like trades the two trade medals Probably this raid metal. Could start putting lures down, and that might help. And maybe dragon types, if we get any type of uh, dragon featured event, I would really have to grind that out. Those are looking like the most likely metals that I can really get to platinum. So those are my goals. Those are, those are the immediate goals. And then of course there's level 50, which is more goals. Um, I don't even remember what they are. I know there's a thousand excellent throws, 999 excellent throws. That's what I'm gonna try to do in one day. And then it's another, I think, 30, 30 million XP to reach level 50. So it's close, you know, it's doable. But I don't wanna spend like my entire life doing it. So I probably am gonna end up spending, some, ooh, one coin, one coin box. But I probably will end up spending some money on coins just, just to, to get it done in a reasonable time frame. The lucky eggs are really gonna help. The raid passes are obviously a great way to get XP. And I do just wanna remind you that I'm spending this money on the game, but it's also to help me make these videos, you know? So I feel like that's something that I just have to remind people whenever I spend money on the game. It helps me make content. It helps me make these videos for you. Uh, so, so please don't just watch me spend $100 on coins right now and go out and do the same thing. Uh, unless you want to, it's up to you. Ugh. I'm just, I, I'm just looking at it and I'm like, I, do I really want to do it? Do I really want to? Don't look, look away, close your eyes. Right. Uh, definitely looks like we're at a Dwebble nest here, which is nice because uh, through all these events, I still don't have shiny Dwebble. So I think what I'm going to do is just, you know, do a couple laps, maybe put a lucky egg on, incense on, um, and and start my grind casually. You know, I'm not, I, I don't want it to take forever, but I don't want to like super rush it. Um, so I'm hoping by the end of the year, right? seems like a reasonable time frame i could probably do it faster we'll see we'll see how long those platinum badges end up taking so that's what i'm gonna do that means regular uploads progress checks uh yeah i'm excited about it i'm looking forward to it so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna walk a couple laps here i'll let you know if i find a shiny dwebble but i i did get a shiny the other day yesterday actually well, it wasn't exactly me who got it. I had a special guest host my live stream the other day. So here's some clips from that. But before we get to that, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that makes it easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness online. And 
They wanted me to talk about my experience with hair loss, but let's be honest. Luckily, I know someone who can share their story. Howdy, y'all. Did you know two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? For me, it started when I was 11. Well, the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. Oh, did you think this just happened by magic at my age? Uh, no, sir, this took work from home. With Keeps, a licensed doctor will review your information online and recommend the right hair loss treatment for you. Then, your treatment is shipped directly to your door. It's so easy. Back in the old country, I'd have to take hair from my back and glue it up onto my scalp like my daddy did. Keeps offers generic versions of FDA-approved medications for hair loss, and that makes it more affordable, which is real nice, because Nick doesn't pay me for these appearances. So, if you're ready to take action to prevent hair loss, click the link in the description or go to keeps.com slash trainer tips to get 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash trainer tips. Seriously though, can I, can I get like a dollar for the bus ride home? <laughs> Howdy y'all. Is this, is it working? What is a hype, hype train? What's happening? What's my fax number? Uh, it's, oh, I, it's actually one. I've been around a long time. I, I got the first uh, fax machine. Does Nick have a star piece? Oh, he does. I'm gonna use it. Cause I didn't pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just back in the bathroom pooping. He said it might be a while. So asked me if I could cover for him. Everywhere has a south. That's correct. Except for space. I'm, I really love cats. I'm a cat person. That's how you know I'm not actually just Nick with a fake beard on because he doesn't he he doesn't like cats. He's allergic to cats. But I like I do like cats. OMG Rick. And therefore I am not him. Surprise Nick doesn't poo and pogo. Pugu? Oh, that, that doesn't sound good. Uh, oh my goodness. Would you, would you look at that? We got a, a purple socks wearing cat. It's a cat with, it's got purple socks on. I'm gonna hit it with an excellent throw. Yeehaw! One star. I think that's good. Does that mean it's number one? I'm gonna name it. After my grandmother. Beautiful. Grandma Rick, may she rest in peace. Oh, she's still alive. She's about 168 years old. Still gets up at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning to feed all the horses. She climbs up the trees to put their food troughs. I think I actually ran into her at the farm the other day. Rick, you might be my new fashion inspiration. Where'd you get that shirt? Oh, this one? This shirt's been in my family for uh, 200 years. It's, it's This was hand uh, woven by Louis the 14th. Well, that's good advice, smile. About, that's about as much as I can smile. You know, my mustache starts to tighten up. This is, uh, I think somebody asked for the national anthem of the old country. This is it right here. My knees can't handle this anymore. How are them hips? Oh, the hips are fine. You know what they say about the former Yugoslav region. Everybody loves to move their hips. She doesn't like to tell people this, but uh, she was Pablo Picasso's first love. He was enamored by her uh, her renditions of, uh, of horses. Any other secrets she told you over the years? 
she oh she just texted me no 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 other secrets none whatsoever if y'all never see me again after this I, I love you and uh, it's been real nice Rick do you know when is Nick's birthday we'd like to throw him a surprise party it's on uh, Julember 39th. We use a different calendar in the old country. I'm not sure what that is in metric. Who's your inspiration growing up? Uh, Jay Z and uh, in the Pope. Jay Z and the and the Pope. I had a poster. I had posters of both of them up. Uh, in my stable when I was a kid. Have you met Beyonce? It's one of my life's greatest regrets. Uh, I had a, a ticket to a Beyonce concert in Dubai. I found it on the subway. I didn't know how to get to Dubai. So I, I had a ticket. I just, I didn't get to go. My goodness. Beyonce is subscribed to to the to the Twitch station here. I knew I should have trimmed my beard today. Oh my god. The Pope. Oh oh my gosh. Excuse me, Mr. Pope. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. The Pope. Beyonce and the Pope. The Pope. I will remember this forever. We heard rumors that you were the Queen's classmate. Yeah, we took a, a, a geology course together. Which queen? The the queen of Queen B, Beyonce. Oh my God, I have met Beyonce. We took a geology course together. Hey, would you look at that? We got a shiny, and we named it after Grandma. Back in high school, I made up a dance move called the Rick Roll. You might have seen it earlier when I was dancing to the national anthem. It was very nice talking to you all. I'm glad we could spend this time together. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thanks for coming through. I'm going to go make sure Nick hasn't pooped himself inside out. And also maybe wash the eyelash glue out of my beard. Good night, y'all.